dealing with the fact that I was tired, I have not understand the both everything was just stressing then see like I want I wanted them to go like I, I love them. I want them to be around because we all want to play this game. But like I don't want them to come back now. Like mm. they were trying to move forward. Let's move forward. Do you get after the 72 we'll go we'll we'll link up that. again? Your pride is more important than the truth. Big brother. It is not pride right now. I think I will call it discipline. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Straight into my gist, Daniela is not happy that the level one housemates, the evicted housemates, Eloswag, Chumzi, and of course Doni are back in the house. I know a lot of people also out here who are like, you know, fans and supporters of Big Brother Naja. A lot of people like on social media are not happy. Why well, some are happy, right? Now we hear Daniela in a conversation with Ryder Cheesy. Okay, and she's telling Cheese that you know what? She's been in a mix of emotions and all of that, and that she doesn't like the fact that you know Big Brother allowed these three people back into the house. I have misunderstood the both. Everything was just stressing. Then see, like I want, I wanted them to go. Like I love them. I want them to be around because we all want to play this game. But like I don't want them to come back now. Like they were trying to move forward. Do you get? After the seventy-two, we will link up again. Now remember that Elo Swax, Chumzi, and Doing were evicted on Sunday, and of course, we would have put them in the level three house, right? And after about some, you know, so forty-eight hours, about forty-eight hours, we had these people come back into the house. Okay. And of course, Daniela is saying that these people have to leave because they were already coming down, they were already, you know, getting to the end of the game. And it was becoming clearer. People were beginning to see, okay, these people are the strongest in the house right now. But that the return of these people has disrupted the plans. Mm. Yeah. Now only five a day. Mm. That's not good. We need to go for each other again. Mm. But th that chance of them going for each other now is very slim. It's very slim now. She gets. My own prayer that I want at least some level to people. To people. To people. Yes, some level to people. Daniela goes ahead to say that, you know what, I love those guys, right? It's not like I don't love them, but this is a game, right? And I want them to leave. And then, you know what, I said when, you know, Cheesy were talking about the fact that they want to be the people that they want to be at the party because a lot of their level two house saints have gone. And right now, they do not want to lose anybody. And they want to be the people who will, like, be the main guys at the final party. Moving on to my next chest. There's been quite a number of back and forths in the diary room today. Of course, we saw back and forth between Fina and, of course, Big Brother. And then we also saw, you know, Trump just spill out a whole lot of things about Chi Chi. I want to start off with Chi Chi, right? Now, Trump is saying that, you know what, she doesn't like Chi Chi. That after they left the, you know, the house and went into the level three house, right? That Chi Chi came and told Fina. When they came back, she realized that Chi Chi was telling Fina a lot of things that Bella and Chex had said about Fina. And then, you know what, first off, she remembered that, you know, um, Fina and Chichi were not that close, but in the long run, Fina and Chichi are now best of friends, and that she's worried about it. The head of house at that moment to, like, nominate Fina, she really wanted Fina to go home, and a lot of bad stuff she said about Fina, and even the way she poisoned our mind against Fina, and all those stuff. And then now, they're best friends, and she's, like, trying to bring... Shanks and Bella and Fina to hit each other because now realize that Chi Chi was very close to Bella at some point. Chi Chi, Chomzi, and you know Bella were very close, including Shanks. But right now, Chi Chi is no longer close to with Bella and Shanks right now, and of course, Chomzi is also not close to Chi Chi. Chi is not close to Chomzi. So Chomzi is saying that you know what, these were people that she that Chi Chi was very close to right now. But right now, that they are enemies, right? Or they're not cool. They're not in good terms. She's now spilling secrets to Fina, knowing fully well that. Fina and Bella just had a fight about, you know, the food of Bella Shanks and all of that. And that Chi Chi now wants to brew another fight by telling Fina what Bella and Shanks said about her while she was away. Like trying to bring Shanks and Bella and Fina to hit each other. Because to me, that's how I see it. There's no point of Fina not being around. And then when she's back, you're telling Fina the conversation you overheard Shanks and Bella saying, which is not, is not even... A problem or something. Now, in this direction of thoughts, right, or still on the food of Elo Swags and Chumsy, Fina was in the diary room today, and of course, Big Brother was asking her, talk about the food issue, right? And Fina goes and says, you know, these people were rude to her when they were asking for the food, and that she wasn't going to take any of that. Um, and explain, and they were like, Elo Swags gave them their list, and I said, okay, provide the list. They said they can't find it. You don't have proof. So if they had provided the list that, okay, indeed, he gave it to them, I would have given them the food. Or if they had spoke politely, they have asked politely, I would have given... 
Fina goes ahead to say that these people did not provide the list, of course, that the list that Edo has in terms of gifts to them, that see if they had provided the list, right? And that they were no rude to her. She would have, you know, given them the food. But that these guys were not polite to her at all. And they were asking for the rude, for the food rather being rude and not providing the list. They had spoke politely. They have asked politely. I would have given it to them, but they were running their mouths and uh, it wouldn't have worked. If Eloswag and Chomzi were evicted for real, I wouldn't have given them the food. Fina went on to say that, you know what, if she did not see Eloswag and of course Chomzi to clarify the issue, she wasn't going to give them the food, right? And Big Brother was like, see, when other housemates leave the house, these people leave their food and the food is for everybody, it's for the collectors. But of course, Fina was like, see, forget that Big Brother. If she didn't clarify it with Chomzi and Eloswag, she wasn't going to give them that food. Big Brother now asked her, did you clarify the food from Eloswags and Chomzi? She said yes. The Big Brother now said, don't you think you are wrong for not giving these people the food? Fina said no, she wasn't wrong that they were attacking her when asking for the food. That even though she had clarified from, you know, Eloswags and Chomzi, that she was still reluctant in giving these guys the food. Saying that these guys were lucky, like Bella and Shez were lucky that Eloswags and Chomzi clarified it. So that was why I stood my ground. So even when Eloswag and Chomzi affirmed to it that they gave their food to them, I was not feeling it somehow. I was like, okay, you guys are lucky. That was what I even said. Like, you guys are lucky that they said they give you the food. Then Big Brother now told her, do you think that your pride is greater than the truth? And Fina was like, see, Big Brother, this is not about pride. That your people were rude to her, and that's what it was. Your pride is more important than the truth. Big Brother... It is not pride right now. I think I will call it discipline. Next time, they need to know how to talk. Because when they were about to start, they were so rude. Moving on to my next question. Donnie has come out to say that Brian wasn't happy. And as well, Fina wasn't happy to see her return into the house, right? Remember that Fina had already met her in the level three. But that when she came into the house, because I said from Brian, she feels like Brian is a cool kid and all of that. That when she walked into the house, she wasn't happy at the fact that Brian did not welcome her properly and wasn't happy to see her. Brian wasn't happy to see me. He couldn't even hide it. He was very standoffish. That hurt a little bit because it's somebody I actually liked in the house. Like I thought it was a cool boy. Do you understand? Like my friend in the house, but I don't think he was happy. But also I could be wrong. Finally on this video, we see the housemates who are getting ready for their wager task presentation and all of that. And I think that they're doing a great job trying to use waste materials to create um, different kind of things that people that told them to create right art pieces and all of that so and that is on this video please go to the comment section and let me know what you think about the conversation that ensued between big brother and fina and of course what do you think about what daniela said right because remember that there was a time that chumzi said you know what she wants all the level two people wiped out and she leave the show so this is what you know um daniela is also saying i don't know what do you think is the difference between what chumzi said earlier before now and what daniela is saying and what are your thoughts on this go to the comment section and let me know what you think thank you so much guys for watching please if you're not subscribed to my channel just hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and get so to get notified whenever i post a video go on all social media platforms on facebook and instagram on twitter and of course on tiktok and follow me at the femi daniel until next time i come over again very soon it's bye for now